What's going on guys? My name is Mark Wagner and today I'm going to be talking about how I basically double my productivity with just a couple easy steps. Now, the reason why I wanted to make this video was because I'm currently in Bali, Indonesia and my productivity has gone way, way, way down, which obviously I'm not proud of, but um, it made me realize that stopping the things that I'm about to talk about has really just made such an incredible impact on me and that's not something that i realized in the moment but in hindsight like i just work so 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 much better and i get so much more stuff done by doing what i'm about to talk about so let's go ahead and hop right into the value <laughs> All right, so the first thing that I wanna share with you is having a to-do list written every single day. Now, there's a reason why this is first. It has had such an immediate impact on my productivity, and it's also helped me manage my stress and just overall make my life a lot easier because I remember when I didn't write a to-do list, I would just struggle to remember what I had to do, and because of that, my brain was just clogged with all of these thoughts that really just stress me out. So personally, how I do it is every single night before I go to bed, I write all of the things that I need to do. Now I call this my priority list instead of a to-do list, just so my brain has a better perception of it subconsciously. But anyway, I really recommend that you do this regardless of literally anything. I don't care if you're not an entrepreneur. I don't care if you just like are barely even scraping the surface of your entrepreneurial journey, I really just recommend that you have a to-do list. One other thing that I wanna add is that I make every effort possible to finish my to-do list every single day. That means if I have to stay up until two or three or 4 a.m. to get something done, then I'm going to, just because I want my brain to be trained to just get stuff done and that alone has just probably doubled my productivity in itself. But anyway, let's get into the next productivity hacks. All right, so my next productivity hack goes hand in hand with writing down your to-do list, and that is writing deadlines on each of your tasks. Now, I realized that I was working like 10, 12, sometimes like 13, 14 hours in a single day, and I was still just like not not getting done the stuff that I needed to until, you know, I stayed up till 2 or 3 a.m. And I kind of realized that, I think it's called like Parkinson's Law or something like that, but um, your work tends to fill the time that you give it. So if you're not putting deadlines on what you need to do, your brain is subconsciously just going to find every single excuse to basically just draw that task out as long as possible. And when you do put a deadline on it, you generally end up doing the same quality of work, if not better, and finishing in less time. And let's be real, no one wants to be working insane hours, so this is really beneficial, not only to your stress, your productivity, but also your happiness, in my opinion. So reducing stress in itself has just been extremely beneficial to my mind state, which has helped me just drastically improve my productivity. Now, some ways that I do that, besides what I've just talked about, is by meditating, by really just taking a second, like if I'm super, super stressed out, I literally just like stop, get in like full Zen mode, you know what I mean? And um, you know, just try to like, just zone out a little bit. And I think that that's really, really, really important because as an entrepreneur, it's extremely easy to get like sucked into your work, which can do a lot of negative things for you as well as positive. But just taking a second to like, you know, zone out, maybe meditate or do whatever that you need to do in order to kind of just refocus yourself can be extremely beneficial to your productivity. All right, so the next way to improve your productivity is by eliminating distractions. Now, the biggest distraction in my personal opinion is your phone. Now, when I'm really trying to get stuff done, I'll literally just throw my phone in one of my drawers in my kitchen and I'll just be done with it. I don't think about it because it's like, I don't know, 20, 25 feet away from me. And it's just, it's great. But I don't always do that. At minimum though, whenever I'm working, my phone is usually behind me. And um, it's not just like within arm's reach. I generally try to put it like in a different room or at least just like 
I don't know, sitting on my counter behind me so that I'm not really thinking about it. I found that if your phone is in your peripheral vision or it's with even like within arm's reach, um, it's just taken away from your thought and that's obviously going to have a negative impact on your productivity. Now, your phone isn't the only distraction that you have, um, but obviously I don't really know your distractions, so I would say that it's up to you to just, you know, self-reflect and kind of find the things that are taken away from, you know, focusing 100% of your, of your effort on your work. All right, so one of the biggest ways to really, 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 really help your productivity is by working on something that you're passionate about. Now, I realize that some of you may not be in the position to do this. Like personally, I'm not extremely passionate about e-commerce. However, I did it for several years. I'm still doing it because the cash flow is incredible. However, um, I found that when I am working on something that I'm passionate about, I'm just such, such a better worker. It's kind of like McDonald's workers, you know? Do you really think that they like flipping hamburgers? Probably not, but if they did, they would probably be much better at it. So just try to find something that you're passionate about. And I will say, if you really hate your job, it's not worth any amount of money in the world. All right, so those are my main productivity hacks. And now I'm gonna be sharing a couple like specific things that I've done that's just really helped me in my opinion. So one of those is by using an app called Brain FM. I use this to meditate and I play this whenever I'm working, when it, honestly, like whenever I'm doing anything. Um, it's really great because it has certain like music. It's not really music, there's no words or anything, but um, it can really just help you focus and get into the zone a lot easier. Um, it's kind of like white noise, I guess, in a way, but they have like, um, different types of like music for sleeping, for meditating, for deep work, for light work, for reading. Anyway, I highly recommend that you check out the app because it's really, really helped me out. In addition, drinking lots of water, eating good food, and overall just treating your body right helps you just kind of clear out that brain fog that can obviously have a negative impact on your productivity. Going hand in hand with the last point, I would definitely recommend that you start going to the gym or at least doing some type of like cardio or just something to get your heart rate up because I generally find that on the days where I don't go to the gym, my productivity is a lot less than the days that I do. In addition, I'm definitely not in any position to give you any type of medical advice. However, you may want to research nootropics just because they have really just um, been proven to help your body focus. Um, I definitely would not recommend that you do any that aren't natural. And I would not recommend that you do any period without doing proper research. All right, guys, those are my tips for increasing your productivity. Again, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. And if you would like me to continue making more mindset content, then please just let me know. In my personal opinion, mindset is so much more important than any specific thing that I can teach you with Shopify because A, it's transferable to any single business in the world and B, generally if your business is hitting like a wall, a ceiling, it's because of you, okay? It has nothing to do with your actual business. It's because your mindset is not allowing you to push past that point. So once you get your mind right, you're going to get your money right. I hope you guys have an awesome day and I will see you in the next one. Oh, 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 oh,